Shay, although our search for precursor sites is at an end, I want that box. You will find it for the Templar Order, and for me. It could be anywhere in the world by now. It may take years to find it. It may take your lifetime. Are you up for the challenge? That is his life goal, is to find that fucking Go. box. Oh my god! <laughs> Incredible. Who knew that Shay had that kind of potential? I have everything I need to complete our assignment here. One last job, Nopskull. We need you to upload Shay's story. But not to Helix. I want some very specific people to see what we have found here. My Templar brothers. It's basement time? Awesome. That means I'm getting level 3 security clearance. And we can finish this fucking game, dude. Because honestly, I've been waiting for Unity. This game has been unexpected. Dope. From this point on, no doors will be closed to you. Thanks, UB. UB. I fact, mean, the assassins had a noble yeah. goal, that of peace. But over the centuries, that goal eroded into a far more dangerous one: freedom. Shit. There. Ooh. Just follow those lights, and you'll be set. I promise, you won't die if you follow the bright lights. I mean. I have level 3 security clearance. I haven't steered you wrong yet, have I? Follow the lights. Alright, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll come back all that shit. Please hurry, Numskull. It all comes down to this. Dude, if there's any fucking... Oh I my... You wrong yet, have I? Follow the lights. Dude, fine. Give me this fucking tablet that's right here in the lights. And... Fucking... She called me Please Numskull one more time. Oh. server today you have helped me to fulfill this role please restore the servant he's very upfront with who he is and I respects it eyes eyes gives its 100s percent respects but um he looks the part of a fucking villain dude like straight up he looks that part let's figure out how we can do this Take the second biggest one and then fucking go just like fucking that. That's what level three security clearance puzzles look like. Ta da! You have exceeded my every expectation. Use Thanks. That terminal to upload Shay's story to the Assassin Network. Upload Shay's story, the one of the Assassin's Creed Rogue. To the assassin network? I mean, he did say up front and clearly that he did want to send a message to. The time uh, to strike is now. All right, fine, fine, fine. Yeah, he did say that he wanted to let them know in one of those in one of the audio thingy or the collectibles. I think the tablet or something like that. The modern day assassins are weak. It is only a matter of time before I catch the last of them. And kill them. Dude, if they had Desmond like they originally for them to die. What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript. Get him out of here. I remember all of this, dude. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want Yo, what's up with that outfit? To see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She like, was right. It's like an actual nice Orino. outfit that he has on. More than me, apparently. My plan is in motion. 
Oh. I have no further demands to place upon you. However, Shay's story is not complete. I am too stoned to deal with this, Sean. This is Gavin Banks, the Great Purge. Damn. Return to my animus. You really came through for us. And yes, I am also a Templar. Have been for years. Why identify with this fucking war? I guess in this world it's all they know. It's all they fucking know is Templars and Assassins and it's just like... Shit's crazy, dude. It still makes me want to play Watch Dogs even though... Dude, if Assassin's Creed carried in to Watch Dogs, then that would be fucking sick. Like, you know, obviously Assassin's Creed, mo for the most part, is all the history stuff. If that shit, when it went to the modern day, since Desmond is fucking dead, if that, if the Assassin's Creed went on to, you know, Watch Dogs, like in history, that would be sick. There you fucking go. What is that? Is what I is what I is did what I say about Watch Dogs make sense? Like, you know, I like Watch Dogs. Is all I'm trying to say. Duncan Walpole rose to the ranks to become a master assassin, but he was restricted by a brotherhood which chose to send him across the ocean to the West Indies, rather than find a way to nurture his potential. Once there, Duncan attracted the notice of Loriano Torres former governor of Cuba and Templar Grand Master. Through their correspondence, Taurus offered a less violent way to achieve their mutual goals, by using precursor artifacts as a surveillance system, rather than the murders and scheming favored by the Brotherhood. Sadly, Duncan was killed by a pirate before the Templars could help him achieve his potential. Fucking Edward Kenway, dude. Does not have a happy ending. It clearly demonstrates that the Templars' highest goals of peace and order need not exclude personal success and achievement. And it just got super bright outside. Outside my... Outside, you know, in the outside area that is called the world. Let's repair this one. I want to say hack, dude. There you go. This is honestly what I was, what more I was expecting. All right, that splitter needs to go, probably up top like that, homie. And this little guy can go like that, and then probably the big guy can go like fucking. Okay, so then this guy can go like that instead. I'm starting to see it. I'm starting to understand it. And by the time I actually do understand Sean it, it'll be Hastings too late. was a university professor whose hobby was leaking Abstergo secrets. He was hours away from being killed by Abstergo when he was saved by Rebecca Crane, an assassin hacker. Since then, the pair have been inseparable, providing technical support for assassin field agents. Hastings and Crane infiltrated Abstergo Entertainment Montreal in late 2013 and were responsible for the theft of classified information. It is unclear if they planted the virus currently affecting the Helix servers or if they merely left the door open for other hackers to exploit. Rebecca Crane's skills are not to be underestimated. She created the Animus 2.0, an assassin version of Warren Vidic's original machine. It appears that she was also largely responsible for establishing a new, more secure, assassin network. It would seem Crane and Hastings have been promoted within the Brotherhood. There are rumors that they are now leading some kind of hacker collective known as the Initiates, and attempting to lure them to the assassin side. All this stuff is so interesting. It's all so good. I honestly have no fucking idea what to expect with Assassin's Creed Unity's modern day. I have zero fucking idea what to expect. These games don't really, you know, put that kind of information out there. 
There, and there's also a tablet right there. Alright, that's all that shit. There's probably more shit somewhere else. Abstergo needs to learn not to make their shit so creepy, dude. It's a bit of a trip, but I think you should see it. It's a bit of a trip? How would you know? We haven't even explored it yet. We still got some shit to do. We got some shit to do. Oh, everything's good in there. Everything I don't think is good in here. I think there's stuff to do in here. Oh yeah, look at that computer. Nice skateboard. Abstergo skateboarding. Alright, attack this shit. We'll subsequently bring that one. Oh, okay. So then we'll just bring this one like that. Oh, and that fucked me up there. There you go. Now we're good. That one's, a, you know, even the simplest ones can sometimes be a little fucking tricky. And also, I said hack again. I meant to say repair. Field report. I'm not sure what this Phoenix project is that I'm that I keep seeing in my um, in the in all the files that we're collecting, but I keep seeing something called Phoenix Project, and I'm gonna have to go back and kind of explore that. That last one was talking about a diamond. I kind of just skipped it because it wasn't really that interesting. But I have a feeling that I'm probably gonna regret that. It's like this one. This one should literally be straightforward. There should be like no fucking reason why I shouldn't be able to get this one. Um, well actually here, let's fucking let's bring this one up top. And then we can bring this one like fucking so. That's crazy. All this info dump. Um, alright, no computers left in here. On the other side of the of the map. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, right here, dude. We have to find all the tablets right now, otherwise I'm gonna lose my shit. Let's attack this third to last computer. This third to last one. That one's a little, that one was a little tricky little one. Had me going there for a minute, I was like... Speak. Why has Violet DaCosta been removed from Sigma Team? I'm reassigning our assets as I see fit to align with the goals of the Phoenix Project. The Phoenix Project? Sigma Team would be of more use hunting down the remaining assassins. Let Delta Team hunt Precursor Relics instead. Those relics? are the key to sequencing first civilization DNA. Accomplishing that goal will in turn make the assassins even less of a threat than they are now. Be that as it may, Agent Acosta should not be wasted on something like Abstergo Entertainment. Last year's fiasco with the Sample 17 project showed me that Abstergo Entertainment is more than just a disposable subsidiary. It's the best resource we have to finding new pieces of Eden. It is a weak link that has been compromised by our enemies time and time again. All the more reason to have to cost to secure their access to the cloud servers. We're confident that Melanie LeMay won't fuck it up, like Olivier Garneau. Bringing a civilian like that into our ranks is also unwise. Time will tell with Miss LeMay, but she handled the John Standish situation with an even hand. She helped us discover the existence of sages, and in doing so, has done more for Phoenix than you have, Mr. Berg. She also continues to ignore the presence of the instruments of the First Will within her operation. Those whack jobs are actually useful to us for now. They're Melanie, a cheap dude. source of relics we can exploit. If they become too much of a problem, we'll deal with them with the same efficiency we deal with the Assassins. Giving the Assassins time to regroup is a tactical mistake. We should strike them now while they are at their most vulnerable. We value your passion and expertise, Mr. Berg, and your concerns have been noted. Now pack your bags. You've got a busy year ahead of you. Who is this lady? Saint, the Phoenix Project, dude. Who is that woman? We've heard her in Assassin's Creed Black Flag, I think. We've heard her in this game, obviously. Uh, she, she's like the, she must be the Templar Grandmaster. 
or something. There's another tablet right here on this far one. Now that we have level 3 security clearance, don't forget it, homies. Uh, this one that we started, this is my, I, this is my first memory now? of no? the modern day now? Black Flag. No. Alright, my dude. This is probably gonna be a fucking bitch. There ain't a single one that's like something else. There's no like special ones. So much for being a little bitch. I mean, that one was a little bitch. Like, yeah. Florence goes Fubar. The kill box is live. Sorkin's picking off the stragglers as they escape. Good. Proceed to stage two. All points, the word is given. Stage two is a go. I repeat, stage two is a go. Get those doors down. Three, two. Adriano Maestranzi. I have come for you. What's he holding? Vittoria, ugly assassin. Bomb! Ah! Berg! Sigma team! Anyone, do you copy? Well, that was literally what, um... Hatso Berg was talking about, was he described... how that Italian assassin... Eh, fucked them all up with a bomb, dude. And he said, Victoria la Assassini! Let's get this tablet right quick before we do that. When's the last time we heard Victoria la Assassini? That was back in probably Brotherhood, if I had to guess. Dude, they added revelations. The last time someone in Ezio's game said it. See that? Ooh. Ooh, I just got it. There we fucking go, dude. That one was a little bitch. That one was quite frankly a little bitch. This is a priority message to all Sigma team. This is a priority. 20 out of 20, homie. We're still missing a fucking few of the tablets. Once you go back to finish Shay's story, your life is never going to be the same afterwards. You should finish any outstanding business before entering your animus. I fucking knew it, dude. Alright, well we have a job to find. Or a job to do. We have to find the rest of these fucking tablets. I think I honestly missed something in one of these rooms. What the fuck, dude? 5-0 is just like pulling up. Like, so much lately. Yeah, and there's a fucking guy cutting the grass down there, too. I feel like I missed something in here. In, in this shit. There's a lot of shit on the floor. And I feel like it- Ah, see, look, dude, literally. Fucking literally, dude. So we're missing- let's figure out how many we're missing. Missing six, so that's one. Missing eleven, so that's two. We're missing 15, so that's three. And we just got we just got 19 because we were also missing 19. So we're missing three right now. And then I'm assuming something happens on the 20th one once we have all 20. Definitely haven't been up here. I know nothing's over there. I know like for a fact nothing is over there. There's fucking icicles and shit, homie. They warned me about the cold Montreal winters. But no one Montreal! I bet you there's something. Else. Dude, how did I miss this one? I swear to fuck I went out here. I swear to Christ I went out here, dude. Which one's this? Six? That's so winterous. Like, every time that door opens, that's gotta fucking suck. Every time that door opens, that's gotta fucking suck. Oh my god. That is such a cheap spot for a fucking tablet. 
15, dude. We have one more. And I have a good feeling as to uh, as to where it is. I didn't I wasn't pleased with how I looked through all the stuff in this server room, so I, I I need to try this again. I need to look at this shit again. Dude, fucking Juno. We're we're still me, right? Like we're still the same character from Black Flag. Am I fucking crazy for that? Alright, okay. That makes more sense. Didn't really go behind there, and that kind of makes sense. Whoa! It's a map. It's a map to where those fucking... Those pistols are, dude! I'm going back there, and I'm getting those. And I'll have to show you guys where that's at. Um, in, like, this video. Some way or another. I'll figure it out, dude. I had to look it up. I didn't remember exactly where it was, but... Here at Sleepy Hollow in the River Valley. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the viewpoint. And also, dude, sorry for being shirtless. Blah! Achilles? I don't know. You take that viewpoint though, and there's a fucking church right here. And there's literally an X that marks the spot. And we're gonna dig that shit. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking I'm shirtless, dude. I bet you if I stand up I'm all the way naked too. Bah, I'm just kidding, dude. It's possible to make skinny jokes, too. You trying to see my entire fucking rib cage? Damn, those are some large ass pistols. God damn. Well, there you go. There's all the fucking. There's all the tablets. All the tablets collected. All of Assassin's Creed Rogue is now done for me. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.